Hello my friends, this is Iggy back again with Dragon Blogger. So today I'm going to show you how the Sapphire Radeon Nitro RX 470 OC card works with Sapphire's own Trix 3.0 overclocking software. First off, this software is not only for overclocking, it's for controlling the, the lights right here, it's for controlling the fan speed, it's for checking your fans, it's for having just a plain old hardware monitor, even to log your temperatures and everything on the uh, on the card itself. So, the purpose of this video is just to show you how everything works. So, on uh, one screen, I'm showing you the actual card itself, and within that screen, or vice versa, I'm showing you the way the Trick software works as well. So, let's go ahead and start. So, here we can see. Uh, we are set to automatic for the fan speed. We can place it to fixed. Okay, so right now we are running at 50%. I am about a foot away from the video card with an open case. That's why you can hear it so loud. So if I close this and go back to automatic, See how the fans turned off because at that point they don't need to be on. So pretty cool there. I believe it reaches when it reaches 56 degrees is when it turns on. If not, it's 50. Um, but very nice the way that works. Again, it's not on. I would hurt my finger severely if it were. Okay. So now I'm gonna put it back to fixed, and obviously it's quiet now. The noise is coming from the rest of my system, all the other liquid cool fans and case fans and all that stuff. So back to fixed. Okay, you see we go up to 50%, which is 20, uh, 2,046 RPMs around there. Um, we can, of course, play with that. We can raise it. Seventy three percent there, and well, we can lower it as well. So at forty, you can barely hear them. Pretty quiet, fifty. That's when they start to get a little bit louder. All right, so just gonna drop it all the way down to zero. Then you see they turn off. Let's put it 10%. Still off. Now you can see they're spinning up a little tiny bit. Still very quiet. I'm just roughing them up slowly so that you can hear how they sound. And also so you can see the RPMs. One hundred percent. We get to about three thousand two hundred, let's say twenty RPMs. All right, kind of overkill, <laughs> of course. So we're gonna go ahead, just close out of here, put it back to automatic. All right. So you can see that 
just jumps all the way down to zero since, well, we don't need it. We can see here it's only 34 degrees. And, well, I like to use custom. Again, I usually have my side panel on when I'm testing. So right now, just because, you know, I want you to see everything, I took my side panel off. This is the Anides AI Crystal case. So it would have a windowed side panel, and I don't want you to get all the glare and the reflection. But anyway, let's get back to here. Um, this kind of goes without saying. You can control where you want the peaks to be. Again, this is totally custom. So I'll just get out of here for now. Done with that one. So let's do a fan check real quick. All right, cool little utility they have here. Uh, since they, you are able to actually replace each and every individual fan on this video card, this lets you to lets you see you know how the fans are working. So start fan health check. It's gonna rev up each fan to 100% to see how well it's working. And well, we're at okay, so we're good. So fan number one went to 3,204 RPMs, and fan two was slightly weaker at 3,176 RPMs. Nice little utility there. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. All right, and then here we can see under settings, again, the 470 card. We can show the effective memory clocks. See up here, just jumped to 7,000. All right, or we can just go for memory clock, synchronize video cards when we have crossfire. We don't in this case, but that's on by default. Set clock on change. So as you're overclocking it, the clock goes with it. You don't have to save it. Save fan settings with profile. Definitely a good thing to have. Disable ULPS. Load on Windows startup, which I have. Start minimized and restore clocks. I like to see it when I'm, you know, obviously I'm reviewing it, so load on startup is definitely what I want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out. All right, card info. We can see the basic information here for the cards. All right, log now. This basically just lets you save your sensor clocks, like HW Monitor does. All right, and um, here on the under profiles is where you have all your overclocks. I'll let you in on a little secret before I actually be before the review comes out. You can see those clocks, and I'm going to go ahead and apply that. All right, so has everything there. Shh, it's a secret for now. I'm going to go ahead and reset that back to stocks and apply. All right, so, you know, here you can change the voltage of the GPU. You can change the power limit of how much power you're going to give that GPU over here. Um, here you can, by clicking plus or minus, you can adjust the memory clock. Same with the GPU clock. All right, and Nitro Glow, a very nice utility here. Mind you, it is gimmicky, but it's still pretty cool. Uh, right now, uh, you can see on the card itself right here it's set to blue pure blue color let's see what happens if we take that off we can't so let's put it on rainbow let me go ahead and turn off the light that I have shining in there so you can see it better All right, so right there you just see it cycling through all the colors. So change color by PCB temperature. It's only gonna be one color for now, but you know, if the card got hotter, it's gonna blink on and off. If the card got hotter, you would see that color change. Change color by fan speed, and we can actually just test that real quick. 
So it's out of red. see they're changing through all its colors so I'll go ahead and close that out and let's bring out that nitro glow again okay and then we can always do custom colors if you don't like the way that blue is change it to purple or whatever you can change it to whatever color you want here add a little color there Alright, and then with that you can change the brightness of the card, 75%, 50%, let's go back to 100, let's go back to 75, I cut you off guard there I think, okay, not much of a difference between 100 and 75, but between 100 and 50, noticeable difference, or we could just turn it off if you're boring. All right, now nah, just kidding about the boring part, but I like my colors. All right, so that's one thing. And if you, let's say, um, you know, maybe don't want to install the Trick Software, which not everybody does, you can always disable it, you know, not install it at all. But you can actually change the color of this guy right here just by pressing the button up here. And this will go through all those modes I showed you earlier. And then there's off. All right, well, that's about it for right now. Again, this is Iggy with Dragon Blogger showing you just how Sapphire's Trix uh, 3.0 software works. Um, it is not 100% perfect, though it is very close to perfect. It's still in a beta. This particular version is 6.10.1 beta. But, you know, as they get better, they'll be releasing better versions. Anyway, this is Iggy again with Dragon Blogger. See you guys later. Bye.